Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Yield back. Gentleman yields. Uh, chair recognizes Mr. Castro. Uh, thank you, Chairman. Thank you, Secretary, for your testimony today. And uh, before I start with my questions, I wanted to say thank you so much for your work, the work of Director Burns, our National Security Advisor, and others who have worked hard to achieve a ceasefire uh, in the Israel-Palestine uh, situation and also release of the hostages. So thank you for your hard work on that. Uh, I understand your position regarding jurisdiction and views on the recent announcement by the International Criminal Court's prosecutor to recommend warrants for the arrest of the Israeli Prime Minister Netanyahu and Israeli Defense Minister uh, Golan, as well as Hamas leaders. And you've also been a longstanding champion of both the UN system and other international organizations. The United States has also supported ICC investigations of Russian crimes in Ukraine and of crimes committed in Sudan and the Central African Republic. So I wanted to ask you, do you believe that the independence of the International Criminal Court should be respected? I have to tell you, um, Congressman, that the decision that the prosecutor made um, is both incredibly wrongheaded and, in my judgment, undermines the credibility of the court. You're right that we've sought to find ways to work with the court to support its efforts, uh, including in, in Ukraine, Sudan, other places. But to have gone forward uh, with these um, warrant uh, uh, requests, uh, to do it in the way that it was done, first of all, the court itself, and I had a long conversation but, with the But the court, but do you believe the court should maintain its independence? Well, I think it should maintain its independence, but I also think it should uh, act pursuant to its own mandate and charter. And what's clear from the creation of the court is it's supposed to be a court of last resort to act where other sure. countries cannot or will not. No, and uh, I, I is, think you all put out a strong statement. Is, and I want to ask Israel you. Israel has but at the uh, same ongoing time, uh, investigations of itself, and it's sure. demonstrated time and time again that it will investigate uh, alleged violations of the law. There but are at the same time, but Secretary, let me ask you, at the same time, you would agree that uh, there shouldn't be any intimidation or coercion of the ICC? It's not a question of intimidating or coercing. It's a question of uh, seeing a wrong-headed decision, but also seeing what Maybe was genuinely this, this a This court shameful, is going to have to exist well beyond comparison. even what's going on now, right? I mean, right. there will be other issues that it takes up with other nations in the, in the future. It, 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 it will have to determine uh, uh, what it does and where it goes, but in this instance, I can tell you that not only was it wrongheaded, but there was a shameful equivalence. Well, let me ask you this. As you know, the previous administration sure. attempted to coerce the ICC by imposing sanctions on its then prosecutor and their staff. In April 2021, you rescinded those sanctions and said that, quote, concerns about these cases would be better addressed through engagement with all stakeholders mm -hmm. in the ICC process rather than through the imposition of sanctions. Do you continue to oppose sanctions on the ICC as you did three years ago? When we lifted those uh, sanctions, it was first and foremost to make sure that we can do everything possible to protect our own service members, including those who served in, in Afghanistan, and also to see if we could find a basis for um, supporting the, the court's efforts uh, in critical places. And we were able to do that. But uh, the actions that were taken uh, really call into question uh, whether um, that's uh, possible and certainly not possible in, uh, in this instance. Sure. So Let me get to one more question. Uh, last week, Israeli Minister of National Security Itmar Ben-Gavir stated that no humanitarian aid should be provided to Gazans until the hostages are returned, stating that, quote, want food for the children in Gaza, then they should return the hostages. Mm. Uh, I fully believe that Hamas's kidnapping of children was a war crime and have said so repeatedly and publicly. Uh, and that they should be unconditionally returned to their families. I also believe that withholding food from children cannot be the way to achieve that goal. Uh, would you agree with that? I fully and absolutely agree, and we've been working every single day to try to make sure that the children who so desperately need the food, the assistance, the, the mothers, uh, the fathers, uh, everyone gets it. And um, holding sure. anyone hostage uh, in terms of food aid Well, let me, let me ask you this. Uh, given the senior role Given the senior role of Israeli ministers expressing these views, these are people very high up in the prime minister's cabinet, can you categorically say that relevant authorities in the Israeli government are not restricting humanitarian assistance to reach Gaza? Again, that's not, that's not the policy. Uh, as I've said repeatedly, we've seen over these uh, seven or eight months now uh, a clear gap. You're a butcher. I'm not resisting. You're a butcher. People stand up against this genocidal animal. He's a genocidal animal. Betty will suspend while the Capitol Police restore order.
Thank you. Mr. Thank Secretary, you. you may continue. Yes, thank you. Um, we are uh, determined to do everything possible to make sure that people who so desperately need this aid get this aid. And uh, when it comes to the policies uh, of the government, we're focused on those. When individuals uh, make these statements, um, we've condemned them. Sure. No, and I'm out of time, but I wanted to say again, thank you for the work that y'all are, the hours, everything you're doing. Thank you. The committee will suspend while the Capitol Police restore order. The committee will suspend. Gentlemen yields. Chair recognizes Ms. Wagner.